What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. In this week's fitness tip video, I'm going to be talking about fast food. What type of fast food joints would I be stopping at if I had to get something to eat? If I was leaving the gym and needed to get something into my body, where would I go? What would I get if I was going there? Cons of fast food, what it could do to your diet, what it could do to your health, stuff like that. So if you guys are ready to get into this week's fitness tip video on fast food, please keep watching. You can't be naive when talking about fast food. No, McDonald's is not good for you. No, Burger King is not good for you. If I was going to be making any of you a meal plan or you know a month's workout plan with meals, I would never recommend fast food to you at all. And like I said in my video with cheat days, if you do have a cheat day, I would recommend working out the next few days a little bit harder to make up for the extra calories you took in. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying go out and have a cheat day because it's okay. But as we get older, the body's going to be taking the things that we eat a lot more seriously and you're gonna feel a lot worse after you're eating something that your body's not used to that isn't good for it. The types of food they use are not good. The products they use to cook it are not good. Anything fried in an oil like that. You don't want to put stuff like that into your body if you don't have to. I saw in the comments on Instagram you guys are saying salads are good. Are you getting a spinach and kale salad with your chicken? At McDonald's, I don't think so. You're getting lettuce that's not really gonna do anything for you, and you're really gonna be outdoing everything with the dressing. People will even argue against the grilled chicken at fast food spots. So when you're binging on fast food, I want you to know it's not what I would recommend. If you are on the road and you have to grab something to eat, whether it's before workout, after workout, whether you're just going from job to home, or you just need to get something into your system, be smart, be health conscious, remember what you've been eating at home and try to base it around that. So if you were gonna be making grilled chicken at the house, maybe you go to Wendy's, you order a grilled chicken sandwich with nothing on it and a baked potato. You're not getting the ones with the sour creams and chives or the bacon bits, none of that. And you just eat the grilled chicken with the baked potato for going to the gym even after the gym. So that's what I would do in a situation I basically just Pretend like I'm still home, but what are my options? If you have to do it, there are some options out there. And you see a lot of these fast food places, these coffee shops, these convenience stores are trying to integrate a health type menu with health conscious products on it. You wanna make sure that we're sticking towards that. Don't be naive to the fast food out there that could set you back with your diet plans, could harm your health for the long term. And do not let the mental weakness of wanting fried food or any type of fast food overtake what the big picture is for you, which is trying to reach that goal, whatever it is that you're setting for yourself. Your mind is capable of doing anything you want it to do. You just have to want to do it. So in conclusion, guys, make sure when you're going to grab any type of food under the fast food umbrella, if you have to grab something, go with a type of food that you know isn't going to set you back and you stay smart with your choice. Do not go with burgers and fries. Instead, go with a grilled chicken sandwich and a baked potato like I said. If you're at Starbucks, get black coffee and an oatmeal. Bring whey protein with you to a coffee shop and mix your favorite flavored coffee with that protein, some ice, a little bit of milk. You got a good shake right there. You guys see what I do with my coffee. I use my whey protein as a creamer replacement. These are just ideas you guys could take for yourselves to avoid setting yourself back on your diets and your health and workout plans if you fall into what most of America does and grab that type of fast food meal. So fast food is a no-no, but there are ways around that menu as long as you stick to what you know and you're smart with it. Cheat days are okay, but you need to bust your ass working out the next few days to make up for the extra calories you took in. I'm not sitting up here promoting fast food. I'm not up here to promote cheat days. I'm just letting you know how to deal with them, how to handle them, what I would do in a situation if I ran into a cheat day or I needed to get some fast food. I'm always giving you guys pieces of information from my experiences, my trials and tribulations. We all make mistakes. We all fall off track, but it's all about how you bounce back. All right guys, so for another fitness tip video, I appreciate everybody's feedback. Let me know what you wanna see in the future. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys as always for watching. My name is Brett Cat. I'll see you guys next week.